The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look at the market today. I'm a little sad today because I thought this was going to be the top yesterday with that big super full moon that we had on Chinese New Year's, but it didn't stop. But the reason why I want to bring this to your attention is because we've seen this happen about, uh, I think it's 15 or 18 times since we started looking at it going back into the uh, – uh, early uh, 1900s, we actually started looking, or when I say we, I mean Jim Twentyman and Ruth Miller and myself, we started looking at data at 1868. That's when it started, four years after, two years after the Civil War. There started to be good charts coming in from the New York Times. There was no Wall Street Journal at that time, of course, but uh, they did get good. Philadelphia also had some good data. Basically, it was a line chart. You could see highs and lows. But here's what's important. You see these four planets that are right here. Those are the ones. I want you to see those four right there. There's four. Those are what they call the trading planets. This one is the Sun and Mercury, uh, Neptune, uh, uh, Venus and Mars. But what we want to look at here, this was, remember, this was the bottom in March of 09. Now, let me show you where we are today. Get this up here. This is from Shane Smolian, of course. You can see there's your same planets right there. They're all lined up. And that date stretched from the 31st of January out to the 7th. And here we are, the 12th, and the market has not turned over. That, to me, was really sad and the reason why is I always felt that this would be the thing that people looked at when they uh, you know said well there's no astrology in the stock market well if you go back and look at some of these things these things work pretty darn good so what I did this morning was I remembered this very vividly because this is how I got interested in it and on October of 1974 the stock market made a bottom just below 600 in the Dow okay and then in December it made a slightly lower low both of those lows, folks, the October and December, were within three three or four days of the exact low, then the big rally. Of course, the December low was the rally that the market is still going through today. But these patterns were, all these planets were there at the same time. Now, this time, you know, they've, they've gone higher. I, I showed the chart of the S&P 500 weekly when we started this show, showing you that it measures, uh, the ABCD measures to 50. Uh, 5, 000, 50, 000, 50, 000 5 thousand at 50,000 is coming later 5080 of course we've been to 5066 so it's had a pretty good run and I all I know is when I look at these charts I can tell you that by golly this is uh, this is something that you want to pay close attention to all right now let's go back and talk about the dot-com bubble because that's the last time we've seen a bubble like this now let me get it up here don't lie to me where is it I had it here oh there it is. Hold on a second. There we go. All right. Here's the dot-com bubble. It started back in 96, 92, 96. This was 2000, okay? Now, the Dow Jones, you'll see the Dow Jones down here was in uh, black, uh, right here, this black one. This did not – the S&P was a little bit higher, but the, the, NASDAQ, uh, the Dow Jones did not. But you'll notice here, this is a perfect A, B, C, D. I measured it perfectly. This is the – the NASDAQ, basically, and there it is. You can see that it made a double or double top up in here. Okay, now this wasn't till March, and you can see by then the Dow Jones was and the S&P were already going down. I'm showing you this because the ABCD does have great function, folks. I've been looking at this stuff. Never found anything better. Don't understand why people don't look at it. Some people do, but they don't say much about it. But that's what I'm paying close attention to here today because it was a little sad. And we were seeing that because I really thought that the, the day was going to be Friday, and uh, it didn't go down. And I mentioned I mentioned in the video, I said, do not go short on Monday unless you get a huge break, you know, a couple hundred points in the Dow, and then a little bit of a rally. Of course, we got none of that. They opened basically unchanged to slightly higher and then just keep going, kept going higher. 
So we are in a, a topping area. It's going to be massive. I don't know when it's going to happen. I've got some information here from one of the smartest guys I know. If you remember the fellow that wrote that book on the Quran that we talked about uh, before, Nor Bashar. This is his from uh, going back a long time ago. He thought we were going to be going uh, higher. The main reason is if you'll notice this 20-minute line right here, how it hits this one and this one and this one, and it goes above it, and then it comes back and touches it right here. That was a 382 off of this move right here, folks. And now look what we've done. We're making an A, B, C, D up in this area right here. This was a closed Friday, 5026. We're up uh, 5065, I believe now. So we're that number is 5080 that I'm looking at. And he's looking at the number is 5095. So somewhere here, today, tomorrow, the next day, whenever it is, those price objectives will probably be met. And then all hell is going to break loose. And uh, if it doesn't, folks, I'll tell you, I'll be certainly surprised, but never in doubt, as I always say. So this is what we're watching. You can see the A, B, C, D forming right now. And it's going to be interesting. I didn't draw all of these in, but if you drew the A, B, C, D on this one, that takes you to this pretty close to the level that we're looking at uh, right in here. Okay. When you look at this, you see these little tiny corrections. Look at this, folks, back here. Do you know what that is, folks? <laughs> That's the 87 crash. That's the best buying opportunity of the 1980s. On October the 19th, the stocks were down 22%. There were 13 stocks of the 1,600 stocks in the NYSE that were up that day. Those were the 13 you should have bought because they screamed higher and higher. I don't remember what they were. But if you went to the library and pulled up the number of new lows on the day and found out what they were, you could see those were the ones to buy. Stop and think. Stock market down 22% and these stocks were up? Are you kidding me? Give me a break. That was amazing. But this was the bottom. And as a matter of fact, that was an exact 61% retracement of the low from August the 9th of 1982. Right on the money. 16, 1600 and something uh, in the Dow. It had been 2785. Oh, that was the S&P. 2785 in the S&P. It got down to 16 something in the S&P. But the Dow was setting right at the 61% retracement. I mean, within a couple of points. When you stop and think it was trading for uh, 1500 at the time or 1600 it it was a really big move so just be careful in here folks i know i listen to the news occasionally and i hear the euphoria that's going on and that's the way it's supposed to be i know it's all about artificial intelligence and i'm using it myself but folks it's got a lot of things that need to be fixed and i don't know how long it's going to take to fix them because it is not infallible doing certain things i've asked him to give me some ideas on things and they're totally wrong maybe my ideas were wrong but anyway i was just testing it for a few days and had a little fun with it but this is where we are in the market uh he's looking for uh, some time around march and folks that's only March is a scant few days away, actually, because this is the uh, 12th, so it's 16 days away, uh, 17 this year because we have leap year. Anyway, that's uh, let's keep keep a close eye on this because it's going to be really interesting. All right, we're going to take a little break. When we get back, we're going to go over some charts. Okay, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at this E-mini S&P. You can see the ABCD pattern here measuring up to uh, uh, 4079. The high today was 4066, folks. I went short there at right where we're trading at 4065, and I'll show you why. I'll bring up my artificial intelligence program, and you can see here that it was supposed to top right about there. So I sold it right about there, and it got all the way down to here. But I put my stop just $2 above it, so I'm only risking three points uh, actually, my stop is at 4060. I think it's at 4066, uh, seven, something like that. 4067. I sold it at 65, so I'm out 50 bucks right now. Now you see it started to diverge, but look down here at the bottom. Gave you a really good run up in here, and it's supposed to go down, and it's not. So I'm probably going to lose a couple points on this, but that's how I'm looking at it as far as risk. You know, I can see why the reason, the main reason why I sold it was right here. This a B, C, D right here. That's why I sold. Now, this is two minutes, so you guys can't do that kind of stuff, but I was able to do that. We got down to here to a 57.75, but it didn't do very much. Okay, now let's get on to the next one we want to take a look at, which is the Russell. This thing has exploded here these past few days. We went down, you'll see, right to the 78% level. This is when these are all making new highs, the Dow, the, the Dow Jones. And also the NASDAQ and the uh, S&P were making new highs back here on the 5th of 5th or 6th of February. And then, of course, it backed off. And then it had its big run right through here. We nibbled at the short side right there. That was a 382. And we tried it again right there. And we lost a total of uh, $900, which we made back in some other things like uh, the uh, euro and uh, – uh, Oh, what was the other one we had? Can't remember right now, but there was another one in there that we were looking at. So next pattern that I want you to see here is the euro, because this is really an important one. And then we'll get up here to take a quick look at it. You're going to hear the beeper go off at that S&P in just a minute, so bear with me here. Here's what we talked about in the video this morning. Folks, I believe in these patterns. I know they don't work all the time, but by gosh, they work better than a lot of things that I've looked at. So here's what we have. Right there is a perfect A, B, C, D here last night. I pointed that out, and I said, we're going to get a correction down to here. I said, have your stop right there for 107.60. 
And I said, if it gets below the 786 of that, you don't want it. We bought it down here, 107.47. So it's still got 67 points in it, which is $700, which isn't bad. But this is what it had to do in order to be a beautiful 135 pattern. You'll see this right here like this. And this is what we're looking at. All we want to do to make it perfect is to put up the cycle finder here. And we'll move this over. And you'll see it is flat out perfect. So it did everything that happened that it was able to do. Okay. But this was a very big ABCD pattern. As a matter of fact, if you like ABCDs, and I sure do, you had another smaller one right there. You had two of them, bada bing, bada boom, right at the same spot. So that's why it looks so very, very interesting to me. Okay. I still think we got a shot at this. And the main reason behind all of this is if you look at this on the long-term daily, which we did, look at this. There's your exact 61% retracement. You hit it twice. This made a lower low by one tick, and that's when we bought it. We bought it at 107.47, and right now it's at 108 even, so that's uh, 53. That's about $600 profit so far. But the good part is, is you're locked in. The worst thing that's going to happen to you is you'll make $130. The best thing that could happen to you, and it's important because look at this, folks. This is flat out scary. You got a one, two, three, four day rally at the 382. And I said that, I said, be really careful here because this could really be a disaster if this thing goes down. I mean, you'd be looking at something serious. So all I do now is I go to the four hour chart and I want to see that last 382, which was off of this one. And I measure to see where we were, and guess where we were? Right spot on, 382, just a tiny bit above it, but it didn't break it. So you got to give it a little bit of a chance. Now, to verify whether this is going to be working the right way or not, we need to go to the U.S. dollar index. So we go to the dollar index. Get this up here. Uh, dollar index is right here. Let's do the daily first because that was making a 618 on the upside when the euro was on the downside. We'll get this up here. Same thing is going on here. In the, the uh, There is the 61% retracement here. I'll draw it in for you. From your high down to your low, there it was right there on the money. Same as the, the looks, this is the upside down version of the uh, uh, the euro. So now what we've had is just a very tiny little pullback. You see that little pullback? So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at that on an hourly basis. And you, there's your little pullback. So all this has done so far today is make lower tops. That's all it's done so far. Now if we start getting above here, so if we get to there, this is no good and we'll be out with a small profit. But that's what you have to do. Now look at this from a smaller uh, time period. Going back to February 2nd, you'll see that the retracement came in exactly at 61 percent, 382, almost exact 382. And then today we broke the 382 and then we rallied a little bit. That could be very, very significant. Folks, I've been looking at these charts for so long, long. I just, you know, I really trust them. Believe me. Do I make money all the time? No, because I screw up just like everybody else does. I get emotional. I get upset with myself. Sometimes I put my stops too close. Sometimes I overtrade a little much. But at the bottom line, it's going to pay you big dividends because that ABCD thing is just so good. But it doesn't work all the time. The only thing that works all the time is, oh, sorry for the interruption. There is no such thing. This is why this business is the way that it is. It's all about money management and risk. You get that part right. The rest of it is not very hard at all. But you just if you start over trading and you're tired, God, you're dead. But if you plan your trades right, you're going to be fine. That's the that's the bottom line of uh, you know what we're watching here. So I hope that gives you some idea of what I'm looking at here uh, in the U.S. dollar. The other one that I look at for our friends all across the, the country over there is we're going to look at the British pound here. This is the uh, Forex version. Here's the same thing going on in the British pound. We make a high up here and then we back off. So the first thing you want to do is you want to measure from the low that we had down here close enough to the bottom came in at the 382. You see that it made it here on the 5th, reversed on the 6th. But look how long it's taken to get to this level right here. Now, this must be important today because it hasn't gone above it yet. So all we're going to do now is to push this across, 
get rid of all this stuff. And what we want to do is what is this high off of this high? You can see the ABCDs. I mean, I pointed this out uh, in the newsletter uh, that we sent out this week. Look at these ABCs that are here. There's ABCD there. See, it misses it by uh, 12 ticks. The next one, you have an ABCD. Uh, this one's higher than that. This one misses it uh, 79. The low here was missed it by 60 pips right here. So it's not perfect, but look, from this high to this low, watch this. I can do it from memory. Look at this. Three, eight, two, four times, folks. We'll be right back. Mike Moore is our guest today. Stay tuned. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we have a little technical difficulty right now with Skype with Mike. So Mike Moore will be with us in just a minute. I want to make a, a little mini announcement here. I'm going to be doing a live trading gig here pretty soon for TFNN, uh, three or four hours, probably for three, probably three or four hours. But part of that time, uh, 45 minutes or so, Paula Webb Douglas is going to be joining me as we talk about some of these trades and the motionless that goes in and all the problems that traders have. So she can talk to you about what Mark Douglas taught both of us <laughs> because when they live with they live next to us within 
in Iraq uh, back from uh, 96 to 2004. And so uh, I had six years with him every day here in the office, and she was right there, you know, listening to every word, writing it down and correcting it. So she's going to be helping us. She's a great help to me. And uh, so she'll give us some great information. Uh, but she'll be on between 30 and uh, between 30 minutes and 45 minutes. We're going to have her on to explain why these traders. And she, she worked here with you know, some of these guys who are very famous folks. And uh, they have the same problems we do. The biggest problem that uh, the main trader, the the big traders have, you would it's fear of, of mere missing out. Oh my God, fear of losing, they have no problem with that because they lose all the time. You know, it's just great. You know, fear of uh, well, I can't remember all four of them anymore, but fear of missing out, uh, fear of losing money, they never had any trouble with that one because it just never it never occurred. But fear of missing out. That was the one that uh, bothered them. And so they would sometimes go in and test the market five, six, seven times. One of my favorite quotes from well, Paul Tudor Jones, who's one of the famous traders back in the 80s, when he, 80, 88, 89, when he was just getting started, he was interviewed by the Wall Street Journal. And the Wall Street Journal guy said, it's a real honor to be with you, sir. He said, for the man who picked the absolute bottom in the treasury bond market before the huge 13 point rally. He said, you must be really proud of yourself. And Tudor Jones looked at him and said, that's not very good reporting. And he says, what do you mean? He said, the report should be Paul Tudor Jones picked the exact bottom in the treasury bond market before a 13 point rally after missing it the previous five times. So he tried six times before he got it right. But when he did, that was what they remembered. The reason why is he never risked a lot of money down there. He didn't He didn't try to buy it, and it kept going lower and lower and lower. That's one thing that I've done here is I've tried a few times here in the S&P during the last couple of months. Since October, it's been really difficult, but there's been a couple of big collapses, uh, 90 points one day, 60 points another, 50 points another. We got little bits and pieces, but I missed it all on the way up. And you think I don't concern myself about when I look at it today with the Dow Jones uh, hitting 39,000 and also the S&P making a 50, uh, what, a 50, uh, 66 or whatever it was. But that that's all that's all part of trading. It really is. I mean, it's it's uh, it's what it's all about. So, you know, I when I do my trading, you know, I'm not in front of the machine all day long. Most of you know that. But I do, I do, I do spend three hours at a time when we're working together live. But most of the times, I put my orders in. Like today, I wanted to sell crude oil at seventy-seven. Excuse me, at seventy-eight fifty-seven. It never got there. It got to seventy-seven fourteen or something. That order is still there, and the reason why is it's a triple A B C D at a seven eight six now. I can't ask for anything better than that. At that point, I know I'm at one point six one eight, and so all I have to do is risk five hundred dollars. On a contract that's worth almost eighty thousand, that's I'm trying to learn to do this. We're still working to get Mike back, so I'm going to take a little drink of water here because I got to protect my voice. And since we don't have Mike, I am going to bring the charts up, and we're going to talk about a couple of charts that really are going to look interesting here. Hold on a second. Oh, S&P didn't go, it went down. I'll be doggone. Hold on just a second here. Let me get this up here. All right. There you do it the right way. Go to screen one. Go on here live. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, well, here's the S&P. It's got a little bit of a break here. See, it didn't take out the high, which was good. So now what I've done is I've moved my stop the break even which is right there so I'm just going to see see what's happened now we got a little bit of an ABCD pattern here let's see what the 382 in this last move was if this was the 382 then look out because that means that that no it didn't that was not the 382 it's already through the 382 it's at the 50 percent level and you can see here it still has a the last part of the day which is the least reliable has a rally in here but the good part about this is that i am at a break even now that that's about the only thing you can say that's that's good about it okay all right now i've had lots of questions about the soybean trade that we've that we're waiting to be in uh, the meal Missed us by a dollar, but here's where we are. This, these are July soybeans. These are old crop beans. You see, this is nothing more 
than a little rally right here. That's all that is. If we start getting above here, then maybe we miss the bottom. But frankly, it didn't bounce very much. It's only bounced about 14 cents, which is nothing. So this is what we're watching. But what we want to be watching is new crop soybeans. And let's get this X up here and show you where we are. Because this is the one that uh, – this would be like buying stocks on October the 27th if we get there. Hold on. SX, come on, SX, there you are right there. We'll get this. this is going to show a bad tick, so don't f freak out. See, we sold, uh, see, what we did is for all of our listeners, we sold right up here on Friday when beans were at 11.95 and we covered them today at zero. With one little exception, it's bad tick. And they won't fix it for a while. So these are the new crop soybeans, okay? Now, our goal here, I'm going to give you this as a Christmas present. It might be Ebenezer Scrooge Christmas present. But, boy, if we get there, if we get there, and we're still we're still down today, which is good. If we get there, look at this, folks. If you like all this stuff that I've been showing you over the past 17 years, you've got to pay attention to this one. This is the time that I'd like to see it to be happening. I'd like to see this pattern happening in March because that's when they start planting the beans. But they're thinking about it right now. That report doesn't come out till March. But look what you got. You got drive one, drive two, drive three. Okay? Here's drive three. I still think it's coming. That's why I said don't panic. Be patient. Look where it comes. Shut the front door. Raise the rent. You buy it at, you know, 57. You put a stop at 46 for 11 or what, $600. You don't have to have a tractor. You don't have to have the seed. You don't have to worry about the weather. You don't have to worry about crop insurance. You don't have to worry about the U.S. government. All you do is you buy them at 11.57. You put a 11 cent top on it, a stop on it, and that's it. There's nothing, nothing is unusual about that, is it? So be, be hey, look, it's not that far away. 11.70 to 55. That's uh, 17 cents, uh, 16 cents, 15 cents. 15 cents away, that's nothing. 15 cents is like like this little move right here. So have that order sitting in there because if it gets there, I think it'll be be golden. It'd be like buying stocks on October the 27th, 28th when we had that big cycle turning. Okay, going back, to, uh, someone's asked this question about that cycle thing. Let me get this up here because I want to, oh, we got a break. We'll be right back, 877-977-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to have Mike Moore on tomorrow because he's got great stuff and there's not enough time, you know, eight minutes to have him on. It's, it's like listening to Leonardo da Vinci do a, a painting on a, on a napkin, much like Picasso did. Anyway, uh, here's where we are here with the uh, with this Bradley model. There was the bottom, that major bottom that I was so bullish on. and I should have been yelling, bye, 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 at least here until uh, January the 25th. And of course, we're now here's where we are. We're right in this area right here, and the market is inverting. And that does happen, but uh, we're we're due for a. You can see here we're we're due for something really big. But after this, folks, 24 doesn't look very good. And not only that, but Norm Winsky said and Norm was wrong. He saw he thought the 49ers would win the the, the NFL. But they were beaten by the AFL in the last second by the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Very exciting game. I watched the last 20 or 30 minutes of it. Uh, but boy, oh boy, you have to be thinking how lucky Kansas City was. The field goal kicker for, for San Francisco, he had never missed, folks. He was 68 for 68 straight field goals, and the guy blocked it on the 69th. And that, was, that guy should have got the MVP. I don't know who got it, but he's the guy because that was the ball game. Otherwise, it ends... It ends 20 to 16, and they they don't uh, they don't win, but that's uh, that's what happened. That's that's ball. It's like trading, folks. Hell, it ain't any different. Oh, I said the hell word. Anyway, this is where we are. We're down in this zone right here, and it's going to be exciting. I've said that from the very beginning, but it's going to get more and more exciting as we go through. Now, let's get back here, take a look at one other market. We're talking here about the soybean market, and I wanted to also talk to you here. Uh, where is that bond market chart? Over here is the bond because this is the problem that we're having, is my opinion, okay? This is the weekly bond market, all right? Now, folks, way back here, there was the 135 pattern right here. This is, you know, let me do this here. This, this, uh, to me, it, it's important to me, so I'm going to do it anyway. There's one right there. So I lost the one somewhere. There's three. And there's five. That's when we got really super bearish up there at that 163, 164 level, okay? And then 135. Perfect everywhere. No one is seeing my charts? Get out of here. All right, just a second. What did I do wrong now? I came over here. I came up here to uh, change window. I go into uh, screens, okay? I put my screen up, and then I hit go live, and now it should be, if that's working, let's see what's happening here. So, okay, thank you, Jacob. There we are. Here's where we are. Look. Uh, oh, I thought I was clicking the screens. <laughs> anyway, we had this rally here that lasted from uh, October into April, 10 months. This rally lasted two months. Oh, excuse me, five months. 
this rally lasting two months. But look where it stopped. It stopped at the 61% retracement of that. These rallies were exactly equal. You can see that right there. They were exactly equal. This is still a bear market, folks. Still a bear market. And yet the government is telling us they're going to, the pundits are telling us they're going to drop interest rates. And that means that bonds are going to go up. How are you going to drop interest rates and bonds go up? The, <laughs> look, we're sitting right here at the 382 of this move right here. We've been here for one, two, three, four, five weeks now. That's why I've got my limit mind here. We start getting below 119, there's trouble in River City. So we got to pay attention. Let's look at the bonds more quickly because they, they have a really good pattern. You know, i got to do the four-hour just a second because it's that's a weekly chart. There it is right there. You see the market rallied up to the 78% level. There's the 382 of the whole move from here to there. Okay, there's the 382. We hit it, came up. And you're going to try to test it again right here. That's going to be a major test because we go below that. We got at least an A, B, C, D on this one to the downside. A, B, C, D. That's going to take you down to 117. Okay. That's right near the 50%. Folks, this, I know this is a great rally that happened in here, but this, like I, look at the weekly chart. I don't trade off weeklies. I trade off, you know, hourly and you know, uh, four-hour charts. But look look at this. This is not a bullish chart yet. If we were bullish, this thing would really, look, it would have rallied a lot more than what it's doing. So maybe it, maybe this is the pull off, uh, pullback that gives you the greatest buying opportunity in bonds that you could ever ask for. Look at that four-hour chart. And that's where you, if you want to be a buyer, there's your 382 right here. <coughs> and we'll see. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, got it. Very sorry. I'm still not over my whole thing, but I'm much, much better. It was a rough eight days, and I'll tell you, I uh, that's the sickest. I wasn't really sick. I was uncomfortable. I didn't have a fever, chills, or any of that stuff. But my laryngitis was so bad that I, my uh, throat was got pretty tough. But uh, you know, if I can do just an hour or so a day, then I'm fine. But I'm getting stronger, so that's good. Hey, I had no complaints, pal. I mean, uh, boys and girls, I'm I'm past the eighth furlong, folks. The eighth furlong hole, uh, post has already been passed, and I feel lucky about that. My doctor says, are you kidding me? He said, you're five years past where you should be. He said, I wish you had all my 80-some-year-old uh, patients doing as well as you are because I'm still able to play poker, which I did yesterday. Uh, we had a big poker uh, shindig here in the, uh, for the Super Bowl where they spliced the pots and made a little money here and there. And uh, we had a little bit of fun. I made a few bucks. You know, I donated most of it to the, you know, to the waitresses and stuff that were there. But uh, I did have a lot of fun, and you know, so it was it was good. Okay, let's get back to the charts. We got to watch this. Really important because we're a point away from testing this 382. If we break through this 382, it's going to 17. So that's going to be a two-point move right there. The, the other thing is right here where we are. We had the big breakdown, and now we've not had a 382 rally a rally during this whole thing. It missed this one here by quite a bit. Now I'm watching this one. This is the important one for current for cu current listeners here at the old TFN show. From your high down to your low, your 382 comes in right here. Okay, taking out these stops, everybody's going to get bullish. There it is, 121. So watch that number. That's two handles away. So pay attention to it. That's a really important number. Just draw this in so you can see it. And we'll pay close attention. These are the things that I cover in my videos uh, each day. I don't always do treasury bonds, but I'll, I do the stock indices and gold and crude oil every day. But those are the other ones that we're watching. So there's what we're paying attention to uh, right here. Okay? So remind ourselves, folks, this is not a business for uh, the faint of heart for sure because <laughs> you can really get into trouble if you buy something and don't uh, get out of it. And that's what happens to people. They get locked into things. And there's no mistake in being wrong. The mistake is in staying wrong. Remember Roy Longstreet in his book, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, dear. Right in front of me. Mm, Viewpoints of a Commodity Trader. He said, the first mistake teaches, the second mistake kills. Your first mistake is you made a bad trade. You didn't do anything about it. It kills you. That's 
but you want to focus on. We'll be right back. Eight seven. Remember, tomorrow more. Tomorrow we're going to have Mike Moore on. We're going to give him a little extra time too because he's got some really good stuff on these uh, oil complexes, gold, S and P. Uh, he does a great job. We'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I wanted to take a minute or two to talk about uh, just the the idea of trading and what we try to do you know your main thing is, is you want to focus on how much money you have to risk folks i've been doing this for a very very long time i mean i really got into this in the you know early well late from 60 65 when i hit the hit the mother load in silver that to where i am today i've been looking at these every single day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday every day Every, even when I'm on vacation, I look at the charts. That That is what I like to do. That's my playing golf with uh, Tiger Woods, or whoever is the best player in these days anymore. I don't even know. But uh, I look at these, and when I try to explain to you that we are looking at a may, top of major proportions here in the stock market, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, maybe two weeks, three weeks, maybe even as long as a month from now. But boy, when it comes, you better be ready because it's going to hurt a lot of people. I mean a lot of people. So, uh, and maybe I'm wrong this time, but boy, when I look at all these things going back, 
and you look at A, B, C, D, why, why, and why I know some of these large organizations use A, B, C, D because I, you know, you can see what happens at those levels. So, anyway, that's what I want to focus on. The main thing you've got to think about, folks, is trading. It's not about how much money you're going to win; it's about how much money you can lose, and that's the real, the real key. And you know, you can be really good at as analysis, but if you screw up and don't put your stop in it's just telling you that you you know more than the market and boy she does not like to hear that okay so i i'm going to be focusing on the middle part of this tiny little bit each day try to get adrian togare and paula douglas you know as our guest again to talk to us about some of this stuff but believe me it's invaluable because you you can't trade if you're frustrated or tired folks Hey, let's take a break. Tomorrow is going to be uh, Mike Moore, Moore Analytics. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. Thank you for joining me, and may God bless.